Hello, everyone. Welcome. Uh, I can see we're already having some drop frames already. Uh, bear with us. We're going to try and get through this. Uh, we've got a couple of people online with us. Uh, D is unfortunately out today. We have uh, our 50th episode today. Uh, and I think Renegade's got about 50 different things to talk about, right? That, that's nonsense. I usually only have like four conspiracy theories. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 50 is a lot to juggle. I think you'll get through it. I, I have confidence in you. So, uh, Some of the things that uh, have happened this week, obviously um, uh, there was some confusion about the, the starting of uh, picking again. Um, so some of the people uh, that didn't select their server in time um, by the cutoff time uh, or maybe some people that purchased a, a mare package, a bloodline, and then upgraded it to mare during that promotion. Uh, they didn't have the opportunity to lock their server in in time. Um, so, um, you know, they didn't get a time slot. So um, this, this latest round of selection was for those individuals. And I got a couple of surprises, but not too many surprises. Did you get any on your side over there? Uh, there was one county up in the north that like placed and we were like, wonder who that is. We still have no idea who it is. So, but other than that, I don't think I saw any surprises. I got an evil rogue placement in my county. Um, and, uh, everybody was wondering who is this guy? You know, what is he trying to do? Who is he <laughs> from? Who is he a spy for? What evil kingdom does he represent? And I finally got a hold of the guy. The guy put a message out on the forums, and I, I got a hold of him, and I'm dropping packets again. This stream is going to be terrible. Uh, but come to find oh. out, he said, uh, you know, I'm I'm one of your mares that's been your ma one of your mares for the last three years. I'm 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 their dad. And I'm like, <laughs> he's like, am am I welcome here? Am am I intruding? I'm uh, of course you're welcome here, dude. Like everybody, shut up with the conspiracy theories. It's it's like literally family. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> so, oh no. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, so, I'm still waiting for some people to place with us. Like they they, they just miss the window. Like you know the people don't pay attention and they're like they message me two week or two months before we started and they're like yeah things and then never heard from them again so so yeah, do, eventually. what do we have like 10 people online right now uh including i think we got 13 oh well like nine of those are my alts so um oh gotcha yeah <laughs> we're we're it's rolling a, today it's an off week uh d's not here <laughs> uh we're just struggling trying to uh entertain you guys the best we can with uh aol dial up and um and, and and no no monarch today so um yeah. but uh he did he was busy this week he had some stuff going on he submitted i think he was was he the only boardwall submission for the <laughs> show us your domain he, he was the only art one so that was oh. but his his piece is really cool and kind of makes me wish i had actually done one except my art would have consisted of shitty crayon doodles i probably would have done it in real crayons but I don't think anyone wanted to see that. <laughs> I think that was, yeah. didn't he post that somewhere? He did. He put it in the prep channel. It's really cool. Like he put in, it, it was one of those things where it looks like a map that you find and it's got like a cartographer's notes on it. He put it in kingdom. He put it in announcements. I don't know if you and noticed that, but someone sent me a dirty message. On the forums, I'll have to go check that out later. Normally, I log out of this shit so y'all don't see all my dirty secrets, but someone left me a dirty secret there. I have to check Did that out. Did somebody send you uh, the deviant package? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, this was Dee's. Uh, uh, you want to you wanna talk over this, Ren? This was Dee's uh, artsy thing. Uh, oh, you should, uh, you should open the image like as a full screen. So, right click and open as a tab. Because it is a really cool picture. He basically, what he did is he took his county, like from the domain and settlement selection map, and he re rendered it basically with actual like layering. And then he went over and he's got all these little notes on it and he posted it in Kingdom. So we can, we can share that. It's there. And he's got these stories about like, this is where like the, um, Cavalry ranch, that's not right. Um, 
the cavalry area would be and this is where a fort would be and he's he's talked about like the islands and the rivers before even before he placed here as something he really wanted to see and so he 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 kind of got to go full blown happy with the the cartography which is his thing and it's got so much work put into it and so much detail it looks like something you'd pick up and like i'd want to like keep it but he's he's got all these little stories and outlines and i don't know if he did the ha- like some of these stuff by hand or oh, i'm sure he did he it. normally does like he he's ridiculous like if you if you're looking at the twitch stream like every brick in this border was hand drawn by him like it's he goes completely ham on this shit <laughs> yeah it 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 really i mean i did a pixel by pixel of our area like i took what we had and just re-rendered it with pixels that made more sense for color because i'm stupid but this looks much better than that i did mine in paint and it's bright green this is artistic (laughs) oh man i wish i had the skill like this yeah uh he wasn't the only one um uh, I'm not sure who Leonim is, but uh, uh, this individual posted a bunch of these submissions. Um, yeah, this was all the visual ones. Uh, these are just which, the visual ones, and these are both. Yeah, these are not the writing. written ones. No, these are just the visual. So people who did art, because I don't think anybody wanted to sit and read all of the written submissions so that's going to be like snipe and serpentius for the next three months is going to be reading the written submissions like they weren't short entries either i think it was like 2000 words or something like that and i was like that's a long short story if you have to read 50 of them i hope somebody they hired like a writing teacher to grade the stories yeah so we got we got d we picked on d who else can we pick on from luna uh, I don't know. You random. should just grab one at random and see what it looks like. Because uh, it's a, people who put art, do this art stuff is really cool. I'm gonna show favoritism. If uh, I pick someone. third one from the top. I don't. I can't uh, read what you're seeing. Third one from the top. Oh. Hell Moon. Oh, I love Hell Moon. Hell Moon's awesome. Let's see what Hell Moon did. Oh, 750 words. I'm sorry. That's still a lot of words. I mean, it's less than the words in a picture because that's a thousand words, but still more words so this looks like it was like done on like by hand on um digital art studio or something like that yeah this looks like a D D thing and i want to play like in a <laughs> town for it <laughs> Hel- Helmut is well known for her art so i'm sure that this is all hand drawn uh custom and it's very cool um you know this is this is this is definitely artwork work as whereas d d's map is more more map creation-esque i think I it was storytelling with d. yeah He's got more story storytelling telling, yeah uh anyway that was pretty interesting uh now we have yeah. nothing else to talk about so um, i have videos i could talk about the ui and the sound the sound thing so sbs uh, last week's shiny they released it was a clip running around Greenwater, which is the pre Illyria little city, the Tereske city. And um, it was just another video running around with sound, but they got some feedback and then fixed it, which I thought was actually kudos to them to actually like responding to an issue, basically taking user reports and saying, oh, that's an issue. We'll fix it. And then showing like progress. Um, just with these videos in general, I, I like looking at them because it, for the last three videos, it was this video, the one before it was the dungeon, the one before that one, it's another one, green water. It kind of shows like the consistency. This is an actual town because you can see the same buildings a couple times. Um, I actually like the sound design on here, minus like the bird, because I thought it was really responsive. So you hear the different footsteps on the different materials. It's not the exact same sound if you're walking on the same material, which is nice, because that can be really repetitive. I hope the footsteps are not, I think they have it cranked up in here volume wise, but I hope the footsteps are not overpowering, but enough that you can get audio feedback for them. So I think I heard four or five different like um, terrain sounds for running. 
And then you also see here the campfire when he runs by here. Of course you can talk. Um. <laughs> I didn't like the ambient sound effect. So like the birds and the frogs and all of that. But that to me is just because you're not getting feedback on anything about your environment. It's not, doesn't tell you anything about it. Versus like the footsteps do, the campfires do. The music I think is awesome. They actually have um, a well-known composer whose name I can't remember, who's actually done a lot of his stuff. And he actually has a SoundCloud where he's posted a bunch of the Chronicles of Valyria What's audio. What's up, guys? Fresh not that anybody knew that view. because they don't tell anybody that except like, Two years ago, um, it was it was jumping to another video in the background. So I just gave a plug for Vares to all uh, all six of our people watching right now. Um, but <laughs> he's cool too. Um, but uh, I I did play the video a little bit. Um, I didn't turn it all the way up because I I agree it it was really loud in the video that they released. Um, and I I'm hoping that was the second version because there was uh, some some distortion in the first version, but I didn't play it loud enough where it would matter. I don't think, um, what was, what was the, uh, drama surrounding that they released a video at some point and it wasn't the one that was supposed to be released and they re-released it with the correct audio. Is that what that was? Well, no, they, they released it and the community pointed out something that like was an issue, which was the, like it was reverb or something along that line. And then SBS fixed the issue and then re-released the video to show it the way it was supposed to be. And I think that that's, that's, uh, speaks well for their user testing because, I mean, I guess it is kind of a form of user testing. Yeah. You know, the general yeah, a, thousand, <laughs> a thousand people listen to it is a little bit better than the 10 people in the studio. They're going to catch things that obviously people in the studio didn't. They didn't have to re-release that video, but the fact that they did shows, you know, okay, they're taking feedback. Which, you know, hopefully when we get to the alpha and beta testing, we do the same thing. They don't just go, meh, that's the way it is. Um, the other thing with that video, um, they've, no, they've done a couple um, UI changes. They're not major. But, like, they changed where the location was located on the screen, where the date was located on the screen. Was that changes from the internal playtest footage, the last video that we've seen? Uh, it's actually for the last three videos, there's changes from all three. So each time something little changes, like those dates and locations change where they're on. And the big one I noticed is they changed from using like stars and, um, comets as like your compass to actually just doing north, south, east, west, which, I mean, I don't personally want that on my HUD because I feel like it, it, I'd rather have an item you have to pull out to look at that then have that just on your HUD all the time. It's 90% of the time you're not going to necessarily need it because you're probably going to know where you're going anyways and you're going to still have to look at a map. Or you could navigate by the sun. Like lots of games don't give you a north, south, east, west. If they do, they usually just give you a mini map. So well, I think this to, was the one that shows the compass or uh, the stars. Is it? Is it? It's at the very top of it. So oh, like okay. it might yeah, be cut so, off. Yeah, I have it cut off. Um, but yeah, I I I don't think I don't look at any of these videos honestly and think, okay, this is what we're going to be seeing in game. You know, I I see, I I don't I don't look at any of these playtest videos, these pre-alpha playtest videos, and and automatically assume, hey guys, this is what we can expect in game. I don't I. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't expect to see any of this in game. Honestly, I expect them to change this a hundred different times. So, yeah. you know, a lot of people are getting bent out on, you know, well, that, that shouldn't have this or it should have that, or it shouldn't have a compass on the UI, or I think that all that's just going to change a thousand times before we actually see pixels in front of us ourselves. Yeah. I think this is more like their wireframe. So it's it's them playing around with the UI, seeing what feels natural. I hope they get rid of that character portrait because it adds absolutely fucking nothing to the HUD. It just takes up space. And honestly, the the health and stamina bars, they're really, really big. I'd rather have them like narrower and longer. But again, that's a HUD thing, and hopefully they make some adjustments to it. There's also something on the stamina bar, and you can see it in all three videos, not quite very much on this one, but on the stamina bar, there's a second, like, thing over it, a second green lightning 
can't see it very much on here because it's very small. But on the other ones, you and I don't know if that's like rested or what it is, but there's something else that goes over the stamina bar that sits there. So it makes me think that there's some other sort of survival or like resource management sort of thing with your stamina there. I'm hoping it's like a rested buff, not that there's level. Or fatigue as... Or fatigue. It could be fatigue. Chat saying, yeah. I, but I am really kind of enjoying the fact that they keep showing us this architecture because I personally had no concept of what this architecture was going to be, but it seems very, very well fit, very themed while being different. Like none of these buildings are copy pasted. They're similar, but they all have some sort of deviation. And I think that's, that's very cool to and now I, I feel like I could walk around in this town and actually navigate it because I've seen the videos so many times. Now, Blue Jean Beanie says, I see all this early stuff as proof of concept. Can they do it? Does it work, et cetera? While I would expect that the artwork, et cetera, would improve and change, I personally would find the current cartoony state of the world kind of neat, as do others I've talked to. Uh, that, you know, for me, as long as it has um, gameplay that, uh, is going to keep me interested and keep me dialed in. Um, graphics are important to to everyone, but I think gameplay trumps graphics any day of the week. I oh, think. absolutely. I mean, a lot of people play on potatoes, like I play on a potato, so graphics get turned all the way down anyways. So I'm just hoping. I mean, then they've said that the the assets, the graphic assets, are like the last thing. So... The, the shapes I don't think are going to change. I think we're going to get better graphics, better renderings, but I think the shapes are going to stay fundamentally the same because that would be a lot of rework otherwise. I'm, every time I look at this stuff, I get, I get excited because I do, while it is a wireframe, the functionality is there. And that makes me happy. And I'm very, like the footsteps. I literally spent like 20 minutes listening to the footsteps. And you can hear it in here. Cause that's that's uh that's sneaky. You need to know what it sounds like. Does it change if you put different shoes on? If I put pillows on my feet, am I sneakier? Yeah, I mean, eh. <laughs> I, I I've I've heard some of the some of the people say these video videos are kind of meh, and to me they're they're kind of meh. Uh, let me know when we're getting closer to actually, I mean, it's, it's cool to see some of the, some of what we've, uh, been looking at on paper for so long, uh, to start to, to form on pixels here. Um, but, uh, show me, show me more. I'm greedy. Can't help it. I'm old crabby bastard. I want more. I, I really think we're seeing the pre Illyria client. So the one that's the offline client where it's just this preset area. I think that's what they're playing in right now. So this map, I fully expect this map to be something we get our hands on in pre Illyria. So these areas and all of that I think are going to be what we get. Well, we also had, um, and since our last episode was the com community journal that re uh, that SERP does every month, um, and a lot of people overlook this community journal, and and I'll admit I do too. Um, <laughs> same, <'cause>, <laughs> same. Because <laughs> there's a lot of shit in there, right? It's a long post. So, there's, no, there's no pictures. <laughs> but I encourage you. I mean, Serpent uh, Serpentius does, you know. Do, do things that he does and for different reasons, but I know he puts a lot of work into this and I know the, the mod team also, you know, contributes and, and, and helps out with this every, every month. So, uh, it's, it's an important thing for them. Uh, and it should be an important thing for us. Um, because I agree while I, you know, completely scroll over all the shit, uh, you know, sometimes something catches my eye. Um, but every time a community journal comes out, I, you know, I, I, I agree or disagree with the memes. Um, but I also go all the way to the bottom. <laughs> if I don't do anything else, I'll scroll all the way to the bottom of this thing. Um, and that's where you get your, your hints at what's coming, right? Really? I don't yes. get to the bottom. Yes. You got to go to the bottom. 
I've done this a couple of times on the BBC. There's so much art in this community. It's amazing. Yeah, you just got to shift through all of this, and eventually you will get to the bottom. And at the bottom of every <laughs> community journal is a section that's you called see a milkshake what's, with a hat. <laughs> what's Next? And you've never seen this. And that's, I, that's, that's my point. Some people oh. miss it. And it's, it, it's very good information. It's like a sneak peek at what's coming. Right? And uh, a lot of times there's stuff on here that's been on here forever. Um, like uh, we're close to rolling out our Ambassador 3.0 program, which includes the current role, the, the current role plus a new recognition one to boot. So they're going to create a new recognition role in the official COE Discord. And I'm interested to see what that's all about. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm not allowed in there. Every time I go in there, I get in a fight over something stupid, like if dragons are in Chronicles of Illyria or something. I swear I've had that argument four times. <laughs> so I don't go in there. I get yelled at every time I go in there. And so even, even though his note here says that he moved a few, uh, removed a few of the bullets from the above list, um, that have been included previously. They're not canceled, but they're just not close enough on the calendar to be listed here. Um, so, you know, they've, you know, they've, they've had some community goals tabled for DSS. Uh, it, and my kids are no. screaming in the background, but it's cool. I, I just stopped to yell at them. Um, like I always okay. do. <laughs> Normally without good reason, but that one was good. Um, and <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I mean, even even though they removed some of the, some of the stuff off the list here, there's still a, a a nice list of stuff here that you can dig through of what's next. Um, Dance of Dynasties channel is being retired in in favor of a new set of role playing channels. Um, I, is it just me or have have they been trying to do something with role playing on official capacity for years now and haven't done anything? I um, think there's a lot of role play in there. It's just very serious and it's everybody sitting in the tavern like scowling at each other. I can't follow it. I've tried very serious and I'm not a very serious person. And yes, I'm going from the bottom up um, for all you OCD people out there. It's going nuts. Um, what are they going to do with the role? Like, how are they going to do? Like, I think they really are focused on role play and immersion. Like, that, you don't see that focus very often in no. these style of games. No, but I think they should get some sort of uh, role play standards and uh, venues, if you will, for lack of a better term, set up um, in, in anticipation for the persona system. You would think, yeah? Yeah, it's yeah. it's hard to RP in a text-based system without moderation because people kind of like God mode and they say, you shoot your character dead, Mwah! and then they run out. And it's like, but that what? That's not how you role play. You can't just tell somebody you did something to them and not give them an action to respond with. I don't know anything about that shit. Uh, ex <laughs> existing <laughs> title holders will have some time to make their selections before the Settlers of Illyria event kicks off. We'll announce the dates for the Dutch auction in the future in a future post. For the current info available related to this event, see this post. We're not going to see that post, but um, so some people were a little confused with the opening of the last little round of picks this past week. They thought that that was the Dutch auction that was starting. Um, that is not what that is. I definitely um, thought that was the Dutch auction. I was confused <laughs> too. <laughs> that is not what that is. We're still anticipating that. I I I say don't get your hopes up. Um I, I know I originally reached out to the studio um uh sh shortly after it was announced that it was gonna be after domain and settlement selection. Uh a couple of months ago I asked, you know, um, will it be immediately following domain and settlement selection? Because that had been the, um, that's how everybody thought it was going to go. Yeah. That, that was kind of the perception in the community, uh, which I knew was false. Um, and I knew I would be on a cruise to Cozumel and Yucatan and I didn't want, <laughs> I didn't want to deal you didn't with, want to miss it. I didn't want to deal with the, uh, reverse auction while on a boat on satellite internet. 
Um, so, so you just wrote them a letter to delay it for you? No, I, I asked for clarif <laughs> clarification on it. And I was told it, you know, it, it would be at least a week or two after. Um, so I, I see domain and settlement selection wrapping up this week. And I, I anticipate it, you know, being a week or two out from now. So I'm, you know, I, I, they don't like to throw dates around, but it's probably not going to happen this month. So guys, simmer down. It's going to be all right. Um, and they're just going to like, it's going to open up and then they're going to tell people it started and they're just going to be like, surprise, no dates. You told us don't do dates. So, but that's uh, what happens when SP when SBS says, you know, we're going to do domain and settlement selection. And then after domain and settlement selection, we're going to do the reverse auction. And then, well, you heard it here first, folks. Immediately following domain and settlement <laughs> selection, the Dutch auction is going to start. No, that's not correct. Um, yeah, that's but the it, ANSI community wanting things now. So that has not started yet. And we have no word of when it's starting. Um, so that gives me uh, every indication that it is at least a week if not too off uh because they need yeah, to yeah it's supposed a week. to be 45 days yeah right? they need to give a week's heads up you know that it's coming and then you know so I, at, at minimum i think you know early november we should be looking at next that. year not, not today not not did we miss it already not is it next week maybe the week after next if we're lucky I they'll think do it next year so it doesn't disrupt the holidays yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, this one's going to be during the holidays. I'm 100% convinced. Uh, what else do we have? More domain picks for any title holders who have not yet claimed, and we talked about that. Uh, claims are scheduled to resume. I'm just... I'm, I'm bummed that we don't get new items every week now. I now a, I go into the store and I'm sad. <laughs> I have a wife and three kids, and I, I swear all four of their phones uh, just started ringing all at once downstairs. Um, no, but uh, that that pretty much covers the um, the community journal. But like I say, if you don't ever scroll to the bottom of these things, do so. It's kind of cool. There's some good shit down here every once in a while. Good anyway. to know. Yeah. No, I honestly didn't know that was down there. I'm clicking buttons everywhere. I don't know how, Renegade, but we've managed to get through 30 minutes of this shit, and we've managed to maintain a, a solid six people the whole time. So, um, Solid six. We are very well prepared today. <laughs> Came in here, had a plan. Yeah, I can't I just, see like, the numbers. I didn't numbers. know we were doing it. this. It could be 30. 30. It's 30? It's 32. We did 31. 30 without D? Shit, yeah. we don't need him no more. He's <laughs> off. He's out of here. Um, yeah. No, no, we were not prepared for this. And I have a kid. We didn't even know we were doing it today. Um, well, come on, dude. You, Show him your stuff, man. What's up? Yeah. Oh, I know what you want. You want some suckers. Show him what you got, man. He just stole the whole bag of suckers <laughs> out of my desk. Oh shit. Isn't that for Halloween? Hey, no, there we he's go. a sucker nut. He's yeah. <laughs> and my neighbor's oh, yeah. dog come up on the patio, hanging out. Five years. So that's don't for like to wear forever clothes. memorialized, so you can uh, show it to him on his 18th birthday. He wears his underwear all over the house, just like his mama. Whoa! Ridiculous. That's better than not wearing his underwear all around the house. <laughs> all right, Renegade. What else did you have? I uh, I rambled all I can ramble about shit. Um. I mean, Any I kind of. Anybody in the uh, mm -hmm. chat have anything? I've seen a couple of things I pointed yeah. out. No real questions. Any questions we for me or, or Ren? I don't know. We're the source of all truth. We can tell you. Absolutely. We know all the things. <laughs> we can tell you totally. everything you don't know that we don't know either. I mean, if we don't know, we'll just make it up. Yep. It's just as likely to be true. No, I don't think we're going to make it 45. I'm happy cool. we made it uh, 30. How much for a kiss? Asking for Gohab. Um, I know you and Gohab are already married, Borne, and I'm not getting in between that. So, um, did they not invite anybody to the wedding? What the heck? No, no, no. Oh, that's a that's a. The, did they announce the tournament thingy? That thing. The tournament I, thingy? No, they did not. 
Uh, but Borne we, keeps inviting me okay. out to a tournament, and and I want to go, but he he keeps telling me I have to buy drinks for his wife go have too, and I'm not doing that, you know. Mm. I don't mind going out on a date with just him, but I mean that that's asking a lot to go out <laughs> with the man and his wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, so the tourney thing, uh, I see we've got uh, DV first Cav. In the chat, he was one of um, the boardwall. He was that board, he was Blood Oak. Nom- Nom- Did I say boardwall? No, yeah, he Blood Oak's boardwall. nominee. So each Dutchie had their own little nominee of of who they recommended tokens go to. Uh, and some of these guys, I, I know, um, I know this one in in here in particular gave a big shout out and said thank you for collecting over a hundred tokens or somewhere at that i mean that's crazy that's that's really cool it's glad to see the community yeah. supporting um those individuals that were recognized for you know the hard work that they've done in the community and not you know necessarily been recognized for nor asked to be so that's, that's kind of cool um <laughs> uh yep selling them on the larian marketplace i haven't done any of that um that's so intimidatingly like serious. Like I go in there and people are buying and selling like three hundred dollar bees, and I'm like, yeah. I don't understand. Yeah, that's that's too much involvement in COE for my blood. Um, I I <laughs> I contributed enough time to this shit. Um, did you get any of the Kickstarter items? Like, I was didn't. There anything you got? I didn't. I, I didn't, didn't get make- nothing. So I appreciate I all of map, you who did purchase things. I really do because that helped me get things right. So uh, yeah. there are certain things that that everyone gets um, just for being you know members of the community and you know the the community members that were chipping in during the Kickstarter event, Kickstarter anniversary event. You know they got additional perks and whatnot, and that was good for them. But um, I'm. I'm saving my money to buy up all the uh, Blood Oak land after reverse auction. <laughs> Whatever's left, I'm just going to buy it all. <laughs> they did. Um, we did reach all the Kickstarter goals, which I was like, I mean, yeah. that wasn't really a surprise. We did. But now everybody's going to leave the country, like going to leave the I like the big continent. They're just going to all leave. And what was the there. controversy with that? Because I love no, to point out island. controversy. No, the controversy with that was. They had said that they were going to continue adding goals. Um, oh, did they? And, yes, they did. And then they just didn't. Um, we surpassed the islands, Adventure Islands goal. Uh, I say we as if I had anything to do with it because <laughs> I didn't have shit to do with it. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, we surpassed that goal, almost doubled it, and they didn't release any more goals. But – they did give an announcement to that saying, you know, it was just too late in the in the process to do that. So um I feel yeah. like we should get one more bonus thing just to, when they wrap up with the Kickstarter yeah. stuff. Like, oh, and you guys all get a water bottle. I don't know. Yeah, because they don't give us enough free shit. <laughs> <laughs> People free. are gonna start the game and they will be over encumbered from all the junk in their inventory. Yeah, free shit like, on paper. Well. Yay. <laughs> All right, so we're at 35 minutes. I don't have anything. You don't have anything. We're no. we're signing off for 10 minutes. They essentially did say it. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? <laughs> it means we get more cookies, you know, like we got the purebred horses last time. I want a cookie oh, this time. Yeah. I demand cookies from SBS. Ah, that last comment, I'm just going to leave there. They, yeah, but I agree they don't need to be adding more. <laughs> um, I gotta be nice. I gotta be a good boy because I am a content creator for SBS now, and I can make those announcements in the official COE Discord. Oh uh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> so I have to be nice. I have to be a good boy. So being a good boy, I'm going to sign off and go um, make up with my kids for screaming and yelling at them because they've been so noisy <laughs> there in the stream. But uh, we appreciate you guys coming out and supporting us. Knowing you knew that D wasn't going to be here and just renegade my old hillbilly ass was going to be here. Uh, and we appreciate y'all coming and supporting us. Uh, this was our 50th episode. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have a whole lot to talk about this episode. Um, we just had a little bit of fun with what was currently out there. Um, 
didn't have a whole lot of questions. So uh, <laughs> we're going to cut out of here a couple of minutes early and give you guys back some of your time. I uh, hope to have D back next time. I know he draws a crowd and he always has shit to talk about that <laughs> I don't want to talk about, but some of you guys want to hear. So uh, hopefully we'll get some of that on, on the next episode and we'll see, see if we can get you back there and look forward to seeing you then. Good night, everybody. Bye. Have fun.